Hey, it's Lee, and I'm here with another pickups video. Now, this video is a little, well, it's, it's a little embarrassing that I have to make this video. Uh, this is a reshoot. And I had actually already posted this pickups video before, so some of you might have already seen it. But there was a pretty egregious error I made. Uh, thankfully, one of the viewers of the video, uh, I believe his name is 123 Hellstorm, uh, let me know about the error. Uh, and I gotta say, I'm pretty embarrassed. Uh, but I appreciate him letting me know in a way that wasn't dickish. Uh, a lot of people online feel the need to be jerks, and uh, he was very polite about it. Um, I guess I can link to his channel, even though I don't think he has videos, but I think he made a playlist on there. Uh, so I guess I'll link to his channel just as a shout-out uh, and a thank you for letting me know that I was kind of talking pretty much bullshit uh, throughout my last video. Basically what happened is I confused a game with another game, uh, and I described not the game I was showing at the time. And uh, as much as I don't care to reshoot or edit things normally... Uh, I can't really have misinformation go out there like that. I feel like a jerk. Um, you know, I could have put an annotation in there and called it a day, but not everybody watches videos with annotations and what if someone, for some reason, actually respects my word and goes out and buys a game and gets something completely different, right? Um, so I'll explain what happened exactly once I pull out the game, but this is not the game I was talking about. Uh, this was, uh kind of the last game I picked up uh, last week. This is Eternal Ring. Uh, basically, I was at, this, at the store that I normally go to the most, and I was about to leave empty-handed, and the guy said, you know, that never happens, and he's pretty much right. And he started jokingly selling me on certain games, and I was like, nah, you know what? Maybe I'll save my money for another day. And he's like, come on, you gotta pick up at least this one. He handed it to me, he's like, it's an RPG, it's cheap. And I looked at it, and it was cheap. And he's like, it must be on your list. And sure enough, it was on my list. Because pretty much any RPG is on my list. Uh, for the price, whatever, I, I picked it up. This is not complete, by the way. It doesn't have the manual. Um, but basically, every once in a while, I'll do something like that. You know, I gave this guy a couple bucks for this game. But in return... You know, we kind of have a relationship now. You should have one with most store owners and stuff like that if you go regularly. This guy uh, has been very fair to me in terms of exchanges um, or trade-ins, things like that. Uh, so it's only, you know, if I spend, you know, five bucks on a game like this, it might win me five bucks on a trade later on. So I don't mind spending a bit of money on a game like this. It's just kind of a throwaway, but he feels like he got one over on me. And, you know, next time we make a trade, maybe I'll feel like I got one over on him. All right. Um, yeah, in terms of this game, I don't know too much about it. It's an RPG. Um, but the looks on the back of it um, doesn't look terrible. With that being said, I've never really heard of it, so I'm guessing it's probably not that good. I haven't looked at any ratings or anything like that. I hope it's kind of a surprisingly decent title, because I, I would like it to be good. Uh, but in the grand scheme of things, it's not a big deal. Um, this is the game I was really excited about when I was describing it last time. And I'm kind of saddened that I was being so stupid. Uh, so this is Aero Blasters, and it's on the TurboGrafx-16. Now, I know a lot of you don't necessarily collect the TurboGrafx-16, so um, it's not... You know, the TurboGrafx-16 videos are not usually my most popular ones, but it happens to be my favorite system. And uh, because of that, I will usually kind of emphasize the games a lot. Um, what happened last time is that for some reason, and I'm very, very kind of concerned with why I would made this mistake, uh, I was describing another TurboGrafx-16 game instead of this game. So basically, I was describing Blazing Lasers, which is a game I acquired months ago and already described in a video. And for some reason, I was still describing Blazing Lasers when I was talking about Aero Blasters. Um, two completely different games. Uh, granted, they're both shooters, but this is a horizontal shooter, whereas Blazing Lasers is a top-down shooter, uh, a vertical shooter. Um, 
in terms of this game, um, it was fairly high up on my list of uh, games to target for the TurboGrafx-16. Um, anybody who collects for the TurboGrafx-16 uh, knows that there are a few things that you need to kind of go in knowing. Uh, the first is that nothing is cheap for the TurboGrafx-16. Even your sports games are going to cost you like 20 bucks or something, uh, unless you get lucky. So 20 to 30 bucks for a sports game kind of hurts the wallet pretty badly. Just think about the better games, how much they cost. Um, so that's the first thing. The other thing to know is that the TurboGrafx-16, if you're going to get one, and I strongly recommend that anybody who can afford to get one, get one. Um, it is awesome for shooters. Uh, it is kind of the specialty of the system. If you were getting to ask people, what do you get on a TurboGrafx-16? You get shooters. I suppose you can also say you get pinball games, but uh, shooters is kind of the main, main thing. Uh, it's got tons of shooters, and they're all pretty darn good. Um, the Typically speaking, the music is good. The sound chip on TurboGrafx-16, not out of this world. Uh, but the visuals are really nice, uh, super colorful, always really good. So, Aero Blasters, like I said, horizontal shooter, uh, pretty good. Um, at least it looks good. I haven't played it yet, uh, which is why I made the stupid mistake on the last video. Um, in terms of the pricing and how I went about getting this, uh, basically there is a store uh, fairly close to where I live, um, and they tend to have slightly higher prices than the my regular stores. But um, the more expensive the game gets, the more reasonable their prices get. It's kind of a, a situation where if you buy a $20 game, or if there is a $20 game, they'll sell it for $25 plus tax. But if there's a $100 game, they'll sell it for $90 plus tax. Uh, it's kind of weird, but for some reason, the, the pricier it gets, the more reasonable they, they become with their prices. They don't necessarily go the eBay route, They'll, they might mark it down a little bit. And that's exactly what happened here. I had a set price that I'd be willing to pay, and it was listed at about $10 less than that. Um, it's still not a cheap game, right? I'm still talking like 75 bucks at the end of the day. 75 Canadian. Um, it's not cheap, but it's kind of what I expected to pay. Um, yeah, so I was really happy to get that game. I want to... Um, my last video, or, you know, the first attempt at this where I really screwed up, um, I was kind of acknowledging people that watch my videos. It kind of blows my mind, right? I, I started a channel more or less to show my games off to a couple of my friends. Uh, and then the fact that anybody else reads this, and I know I've only got 40 subscribers, I'm making it sound like there's 500,000. But the fact that, you know, anybody watches my videos which are not edited, which have no kind of real value except for me showing games um, kind of blows my mind so again getting feedback telling me that I was doing something completely wrong uh, was something I really appreciated uh, so again thank you to 123 Hellstorm uh, but yeah anytime you guys comment I really appreciate stuff like that uh, as small a of a channel as it is I do kind of feel Sometimes, like on weekends, I feel the need to buy something just so I can post something. So I'm actually committed to creating these videos. Uh, and who knows, if it, if I ever get a few more viewers, maybe if I hit certain milestones, I'll start doing kind of prize packs or something like that. I don't know. I do have a few doubles, and it's not like uh, uh, I, I need to keep them all. I could probably make a little, a little subscriber uh, uh, prize pack uh, somewhere down the road. Um, so yeah, anyways, two decent pickups. Again, this is kind of the only situation where I'd ever reshoot anything. Uh, thank you uh, to people who watch this. People who don't have a TurboGrafx-16, please consider it. It's awesome. I'm going to play Aero Blasters. It's not a top-down vertical shooter. It's a horizontal shooter. I know that now because I've, you know, I've been reminded. Um, but yeah, I'm really excited. Thanks for watching. Bye.